be to God. This program is special, a very amazing program God Almighty has planned for you. You make no mistake, you are in the right place. This program is what I call the correct way to begin. It's a starter program. It's how you begin a new season, a new leg of your life, a new chapter of your life. It's starting out well, the proper, the correct, the right way to see victory. The format is simple. It is from Psalm 100, then Psalm 91, then Psalm 23. Psalm 100 is for praise, worship, and thanksgiving. It is the art of gratitude and kindness to Almighty God. God, who would have carried you, transport you, journey with you out of one season and going ahead of you into a next season. Of course, you may never see some of the things that you would be trusting God for in your past season, your past job, your past month, your past week, your past year. But remember now, at the beginning of every season of your life, at the opening of every chapter of your life, you always begin with a heart of gratitude. Always start with a heart of worship, praises unto God. It simply means that you recognize that regardless of what you do not see, in the previous chapter, God is still willing and able and has enough power to bring it to pass in this chapter that you're about to enter in. Therefore, it causes you, note now, therefore, it's simply suggesting that you're still in faith. Walk with me now, believers. This is very important. Is suggesting that you're still in faith. Therefore, you are confirming one, you are enforcing, and you are literally still believing the prayers that you would have prayed in previous months, week, year, etc. So you are giving God praise, you are giving Him worship. You are being grateful. A heart of gratitude is from Psalm 100. We're going to read all these three Psalms as you have them play over you time and time again with this kind of understanding, with this kind of mindset. Therefore, you don't skip a beat. You don't believe you're starting over from square one again. No. God is faithful. God is faithful and his promises to you are sure. So this is a art, it's an art of gratitude, worship, thanksgiving and praise. Not an art of feeling low or feeling down or be confused. No, because what you would have not seen. Then we will transition into Psalm 91. Why? Because Psalm 91 is the way or you walk out of worship and you walk out of praise. Or rather, the result of worship and the result of praise and the result of thanksgiving. Why? Because Psalm 91 is a psalm of warfare, is a psalm of battle, is a psalm that you and I using to go in and to lay hold upon that which is rightfully ours. So you are traveling in the spirit and you are causing the scriptures to be your mindset or you speak the lenses through which you see life 
because you expect victory so you're moving from psalm 100 praise worship thanksgiving from a heart of gratitude and to god and you're going directly into warfare oh hallelujah this is the correct order so we will read them in that order for you then when you walk out of psalm 91 you literally walk into psalm 23 because psalm 23 is for blessing and prosperity it is the sure abundance of god it's the wealthy place of god it's the great shepherd lay all upon his sheep and carrying them into the fullness of his promise that restful place that still water that abundance that table that he prepared before you but remember now beloved the format i remember the order is very important don't skip and run into psalm 23 because you will not see the result that you expect to see and it will it will cause you to be confused as many people are because they pray, they read, they declare it, but out of other. Start with praise, worship, thanksgiving. It tells God that you are willing to see that which you were praying for because your trust is grace. It releases the angels of God. It causes you to grow in faith. Why? Because now you're in a rejoicing mode. So you cannot worry while you are rejoicing therefore rejoicing praise and thanksgiving to god drowned your fear drowned your doubt it cancelled out your intimidation and now it carry you into battle psalm 91 and you take out psalm 91 and you listen to it and you declare it over your life and Psalm 91 release now the angels of God activate the angels of God and you are in the secret place of God and you receive the results so that which would be would be entering you that which would have been entering you would have been stopping you Psalm 91 would literally clear them out of the way and you would walk in the victory of Almighty God so Psalm 23 is a result psalm is a reaping psalm is the benefit psalm it is psalm that you see the result of psalm 100 and psalm 91 and you lift your hands in the air and you declare it with confidence this is our method this is that which we are walking into this hour no it's a new day it's a new season it's a new month it's a new chapter it's a new year possible for you it's a new hour for you it's a new week for you this is your starter method is the correct way to start so whether it's a new home you're going to live into whether it's a marriage you just get married it's a new family whether it's a new job whether it's a new month whether it's a new week it's the way how you start you start with worship praise and thanksgiving you go into warfare then you see the blessings and prosperity of god let us go into psalm 100 by faith now remember to share this with somebody and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive these life changes messages this life changing messages on a continual basis sound teaching is what the body of christ need receive now beloved in the name of jesus christ and i will be back after the reading to speak over your life again in jesus name make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands serve the lord with gladness come before his presence with singing Know we that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. 
Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Thank you, God. I always love this psalm. I always enjoy this psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. It's a psalm that, you know, you just, you're just celebrating God. So you just, you just rejoice. I don't know if you've ever been at that place where you just want to shout. You just want to scream. You just want to make noise when you think of God's goodness. When you think of who God is and to think that, you know, God has chosen me. God has selected me. He has called me. And he has placed his mark upon me. I just want to celebrate. I just want to rejoice. Thanks be to Almighty God. That was Psalm 100. We are transitioning now. So we worship, we praise, we give thanks with understanding. Remember, beloved, it's a systematic way for result. The systematic way to transition from one season to the other in victory. You're not skipping a beat. It's always designed to function and to operate. No, with the art of rejoicing, with praise, thanksgiving unto God. It is carrying you now into warfare. So therefore, there is no doubt in your heart. No, there is no worry in your heart now because praise drown all of that negative. I will go in now into Psalm 91. Warfare. You are going to literally silence the forces of darkness. Then we transition into Psalm 23, which is the blessing. Receive Psalm 91 with understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on their feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. You have fought a good fight there. You have seen the blessing and the result of God who protect you and keep you, who give his angel charge over you, who satisfy you with long life. So you have war. You have fought and you won. After the battle come this spoil. Oh, hallelujah. The reward of warfare is a spoil. The bountiful outpouring. And here goes Psalm 
23 is a place of rest and tranquil is a place of peace is a place of reward or result from the battle so psalm 91 delivering in your hands psalm 23 in the name of jesus the systematic way for glorious result as you move from one season to the other you're not skipping a beat no neither are you going back to square one no but you're going forward with understanding receive psalm 23 in the name of jesus christ the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever hallelujah that is the correct way the correct format the correct systematic way to see result beloved i hope you understand what we are trying to literally get going here is for you to see that there are predictable results in the walk with god almighty for you to move from doubt and fear and confusion the ear of dullness and dormancy and deadness they are over that season has passed so with the art of gratitude you are entering each morning remember now you will be playing this over and over again and you will be sending this to your loved ones in order for they to, them to have an understanding that their victory is made in Christ you are not trying something you are simply putting in place the things that God would have already given to us through Jesus Christ so we are here correctly or systematically implementing them to see result and your result is sure i don't mind and i don't care how long you've been trying now is a new season approach it that way for your life for your marriage for your children life they are not too far gone no your marriage is not too far gone your finances is not too far gone your health is not too far gone god is faithful you are not too far gone in your job or your business i'm giving you a systematic format from the word of god that we cannot return back unto him void he said in isaiah chapter 55 but they will accomplish they will accomplish yes to the end which God has sent them and you and I together are partnering for your victory and for your result because that is important beloved your result so as you begin this chapter this may be a new month for you a new week for you a new job you're starting the past job you may experience a lot of fights a lot of negative on that job people rise up against you but you may never understand how to deal with it you may fight in them with anger you may fight in fire with fire the wrong way literal way when you should simply deal with your battle in the spirit realm fight your battle in the spirit realm don't try to argue with people don't become bitter and corrupt and unforgiving no that is not your methodology no god give you a different method know that the weapon of your warfare as second corinthians tell us they're not carnal no beloved we don't fight like others fight we understand how the spirit realm work and we tap in and we take action and we see result in the name of jesus christ 
and that is the mindset that i want you to have your life changed from this season your life changed in the name of jesus christ i declare a new day over you i declare a new season over you i declare your yesterday the pain that you experience in your yesterday the pain that you experience in your past chapters of your life you will never see them in this chapter you will never experience them in your tomorrow neither will you experience them in you today i sever you from your yesterday i cut you off from your pain i cut you off from your anguish your heartache your poverty that seem to follow in you every step of the way and every chapter of your life now this hour those previous dead, dull, dormant chapters of your life, they will not impact this chapter. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decapitate every aid of every dark power, every dark witch, every dark warlock, every dark spirit that come against you in your past chapter of your life they will have no impact on you in this chapter you will rise up in the lord and in the power of these psalms you will rejoice each day with arms lifted up high you will be shouting from the mountain top of the grace of god by making a joyful noise unto god oh hallelujah you will serve the lord with gladness Yes, you will come before his presence with singing because you know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that had made you. So you will not be a fear, fearful. You will not be intimidated. You will not be shaken. No, but you will understand that you are the people of God. You are the sheep of God and you will enter in every given circumstances with praise and with thanksgiving. Yes, because you know the God who you serve. By faith, you will worship him. In spirit and in truth, you will worship him. With confidence and understanding, you will worship him. Because your life changed from this moment. So you will rejoice from this moment. Matters not what the physical realm is saying. You are taking action in the spirit realm don't be intimidated by this physical realm you are a spirit being and the weapon of your warfare they are not carnal so you transition over into psalm 91 and you sound the trumpet because you finish worship and you are protected the worship and the praise and thanksgiving from psalm 100 would have ushered you where in the secret place of the most high god oh hallelujah this is beautiful this is beautiful so you would have been ushered in the secret place of the most high god and you would abide under the shadow of the almighty and you would say of the lord he is your refuge and your fortress your god in him you trust surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and you will declare things like that because you will see these psalms oh they work hands and glove with understanding beloved and you will go through for this new season of your life without any fear and doubt and intimidation as before no you're grown up now every demons must know you're mature now every devils must know you're not the same person you used to be in a past season you have been hard oh, i love this i love this you have graduated oh thank you holy spirit that one must come from heaven directly you are listen you have been graduated from that season to a higher season you may look the same physically but the spirit realm must respect you now you have been impact you're causing impact you're causing change you are now being noticed by the spirit realm why because now you understand how to take action so when you finish your fear with psalm 91 psalm 23 now beloved the lord is your shepherd now you're ushering in the place of abundance the battle has been dealt with 
so you went before with psalm 91 and you clear things out of the way the angels of god went forth and they're fighting for you a thousand fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but none come nigh you only with your eye you behold and see the reward of the wicked so now that which was withholding your blessing your healing the change in your family your finance your restoration they have to let go they have to release now so now you can see god as your good shepherd as psalm 23 say the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he make it me to lie down in green pastures oh why no you are in rest because you are already warfare by faith using psalm 100 in praise and thanksgiving and psalm 91 it's a it's a systematic way for victory and i want this for you too much struggle unnecessarily in this christian walk from many so he leads you beside still waters you hear that this is important for you to understand sheep doesn't drink from gushing stream it's the water flash or go up in his nostril sheep cannot drink from gushing stream a goat can try but the sheep no so this is what david is speaking about here so your blessing must be smooth it must not like something thrown at you no it must come to you in a gentle way the still water here is speaking the smooth transitioning of your blessing to you that which should quench your thirst that which will quench your thirst when you are resting lying down i love this so much he refresh you listen listen you are fully restored he restored your soul he leadeth you in the paths of righteousness why for his name's sake i want you to get this beloved therefore god is doing all of these things for his testimony i want to shout this on a mountain top this is why i tell you your victory is god best interest it is in god best interest why because your victory tell us story about step back a little take yourself out the way when you believe you mean you need more are your victory is more important to you than god you miss it totally and it become burden to you step back just a little see that your victory is in God's best interest and God need you to be victorious because it tell a story about him is it tell of his goodness his faithfulness it's a turning and this is what the psalmist is saying here to you it caused the burden to be literally taken from your shoulder so you can see now that wow you mean that God want me to be ill more than how I want to be ill you mean that God want me to have rest want to have financial rest more than I want yes beloved that literally is deliverance in itself it break the yoke from your shoulder it moves stress and this is what I want you to go into this new chapter of your life understanding understand the fact of the matter that God more interested he more interested in your victory than you and I interested in our victory that is relief it is a relief to our hearts to know that we love and psalm 23 continue so you you continually stay in the midst or in the hearing of this truth have it play again and again until you develop this kind of a mindset make cause it to mold you i want it to mold you in the mold of god so you are not weird like every other christian you're not confused like every other Christians. No. But every chapter of your life, you're open to lift higher by the grace of Almighty God. I thank you so much for listening. Thank you for liking and, to subscri and to subscribing. Thank you also to share this message. Thank you to hit that notification bell. Yes. Thank you even to comment because you're helping us. You're giving us a wonderful way of growing on YouTube. That we in order for us to touch others we really appreciate that thank you so much beloved my desire is your genuine change it's not just for you to be a subscriber just for you to just listen a message no i want you to understand how the spirit realm work in order for you to able 
to produce your miracle by using the word of God as the Holy Spirit lead you in every given situation. That is what I want for you. For you don't, in order for you not to be a warrior and one who confuse. Oh, hallelujah. God is a wonderful God. No, I've given you the tool, the order and in which they fall the systematic way for victory to start out this season i don't mind our last season look you may even feel down that's why you're starting out with worship and with praise go ahead in your victory go ahead in your victory implement these truths in your life see your life change hallelujah shout the praises from your mouth and declare this with me now declare this with me beloved my life change now my life change now i receive my change now in the name of jesus christ i experience change now my finance change now in the name of jesus my health change now my marriage change now my family change now in the name of jesus christ my life become impactful and i mature in god and i am, I am a testimony of his kingdom and of his goodness my life is a testimony of the goodness of God and of his kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ rejoice and give thanks let nothing cause you to hang down your head no it's a new day it's a new season rejoice and give God thanks remember listen and listen and listen over and over again and get it done in your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ amen be to God he is worthy to be praised 